Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So Trey Songs is back in the media again for an alleged issue where he can't keep his hands to himself and treat women properly when they're in his presence, allegedly. Now, there is a woman who is going by the name Jane Doe, and I don't blame her because I wouldn't want, you know, in that situation, my name spluced all over the media because there are some people who still will come to his defense despite what he's done. And we've seen this happen plenty of times with celebrities and people they've victimized, allegedly. This woman is going by Jane Doe, and she filed a lawsuit against Trey Songs, I believe, if I'm not mistaken, about 10 years ago, actually, when this incident first took place. But I believe that this is coming back around now. But basically, during that time, she was actually a businesswoman who was attending a resort. I forgot what the you know event was. She saw him at the resort, decided, hey, I'd like to take a picture with this person, not realizing that, you know, he was this kind of person. She goes up to him to take the picture. Then he proceeds to allegedly grab her, I believe it was a bathing suit she was wearing at the time, and basically pulled down the front of it to expose her breasts. Allegedly, 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 according to the reports. To add insult to injury, he said some disrespectful things right after he did it, which I will not repeat. You can read it right on the screen. Now, remember everybody, this is a businesswoman. She was, like I said, attending the resort, but she was around her colleagues, allegedly, apparently. And she was so embarrassed that, well, allegedly, according to the young woman, eventually she stopped going to work because it ruined and it damaged her reputation so much to have him do that in the vicinity of her colleagues. And I know a lot of people might think that that's kind of a jump off the deep end to stop going to work after this happened, but put yourself in her shoes. Imagine yourself going somewhere, you're, you know, out, you know, you're kind of on business, but you're out and you're leisurely doing whatever. And you go up to a celebrity thinking that they're not, you know, clearly that bad of a person, just want to take a picture and they indulge you. Then they use that indulgence to take advantage of you publicly, then humiliate you and expose you in the presence of your colleagues, your peers. God forbid if your boss had been there. Would you really want to go back to work after that? And I know people got bills to pay, so some people would be right back at work that next day. But that humiliation is not easy for some people to process. I mean, it's really not easy for anybody to process if we're being completely honest. But anyways, as I said, she is suing him or was suing him for $20 million, if I'm not mistaken. And quite frankly, I don't blame her. I feel like a lot of people think that it might be overreacting or that, oh, well, he just, you know, pulled her, you know, breasts out, whatever. But still, that was inappropriate. It was disrespectful. It was wrong. And whatever she sues him for, I believe he deserves to get sued for it allegedly allegedly and allegedly like i said as we've seen allegedly this man has a history of not being able to keep his hands to himself and act properly in the presence of women although there will still be somebody defended his actions like they always do which is the sad part and it's sad that every time we turn around it seems like every year every quarter of the year there's another woman coming out alleging that he's done something to her We've got to start seeing these people for who they are and acting accordingly and believing these people when they first come out. I hate it when people come out and they say, you know, what's happened to them and they get mocked. And then, God forbid, you know, two, three years later, it didn't happen to 5,000 other people. You know, we need to start believing people the first time. And like I said, moving accordingly, if you get my drift. But anyways, y'all let me know what y'all think and how y'all feel down in the comments below respectfully. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Y'all have a blessed and safe day.